Hello, this is Alex uh, from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, I'm going to be talking about logical operators. Now, we've already seen examples of comparison operators, arithmetic operators, um, and assignment operators. So we've assigned variables, we've compared them. Now, what happens if we want to uh, use a bit of logic to maybe say want to check a few variables at once uh, if they compare to different values. Now the best way to explain this is to create an example. So if I was to create um, a number here, number 1 equals 10. Now what I want to do is I want to create an if statement here with block um, and inside uh, here I want to say number 1 um, greater than uh, or equal to 10. Now echoing out this would be true. So we've evaluated this to true. Number 1 is equal to 10 so when we refresh in our browser we get uh, true echoed out. However let's say we want to check um, um, at say an upper and a lower bounds. We've already seen examples like this where we've, we've simply uh, made a comparison check but let's apply some logic into this. Um, I'm going to create a variable called upper, and this is going to be a uh, thousand. And my lower is going to be 500. Ooh, make sure we assign that there. Uh, my lower limit is going to be 500. Now, what I want to do is I want to let's change this text to um, let's say OK. Um, I want to test whether um, a specific number supplied, which could be up here is equal uh, or is between a thousand and five hundred so I want this number to be either one thousand five hundred or somewhere in between so it could be five hundred and five or it could be nine hundred ninety nine point nine um, it could be a thousand it could be five hundred but it can't be under five hundred so it can't be four nine seven or it can't be one thousand and one for example so this number at the moment is one let's put it in within our boundaries so I'm gonna say 654 which is between 500 and 1000 now how are we gonna make this check now in PHP we have logical operators um, we have and we have or or we have not now I'm not going to discuss the not um, in this tutorial um, in depth, I'm, I might come into it, but we're definitely going to be discussing the and or the or. Now, and or or can be written in a few ways. We can write and like this with a double ambassand symbol, um, or we can write it and. You can see it's turned blue as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be in capitals, but it just makes everything easier to see. Or is either two vertical lines, um, they're also known as pipes, so they're on your keyboard, or you can just simply, you probably guessed, write or. So we need to think logically and we need to think in plain English a lot of the time uh, whenever we program anything so I need to say does this nu is this number greater than or equal to 500 which is the uh, lower uh, variable and is it less than or equal to upper so you probably guessed let's start writing this out and, and speaking in English as we go so I'm gonna say if number is greater than or equal to lower and so let's space this out a bit and number is less than or equal to upper so it has to be greater than or equal to 500 and it has to be less than or equal to to a thousand so in this case we'll echo out OK if that's the case so let's refresh and see what happens okay we're left with the well we're printing out or echoing out OK so what happens if we now change this number to 999.999 for example let's refresh we're still being produced in our browser with OK it's still telling us it's OK so this statement is still evaluating to true now what happens if we say let's just say 10,000 okay so or 10,500 this is obviously greater than a thousand so we should be left with the alternative which will be to display nothing because we don't have our else on the end so if we refresh 
you can see nothing's displayed. So this has worked really, really well. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to um, use a bit of concatenation inside here and I'm going to say uh, number must be between space um, lower and then I'm going to concatenate on uh, some text and with a space either side and um, upper. Okay, so this is going to read number must be between lower and upper. Um, in fact, no, that needs to go in our else part, obviously, because if that doesn't evaluate to true, um, otherwise, okay. Okay, so the way it works is if, that, if this evaluates to true, we're saying okay, otherwise we're telling the user the, up, the lower and the upper bounds of the number. So if we refresh so far, number must be between 500 and 1,000. If we pop this straight in the middle uh, and say 750, um, it's telling us that it's okay. So uh, let's go and say like a minus a thousand, uh, minus a hundred, for example. Number must be between five hundred and a thousand, um, and then we can do the inclusive numbers as well. So if it's five hundred, it's going to be still okay. Let's say we were to take the equals out of there. Remember, it now doesn't equal, so uh, it's working. Um, so maybe we could put. A little message on the end of here saying inclusive. Oh, inclusive. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, get rid of this example. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have um, our number. We're going to have um, a can be one equals uh, two. And we're going to have can be two equals uh, four. So I want this number here to equal either two or four. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to start up an if statement and inside um, here we're going to write if, so we're saying if number equals equals, remember we're saying is equal to, uh, can be one or, so remember I double pipe number equals equals can be two. So if it equals either two or four we're going to echo um, OK. So let's check that. At the moment it's 500. Nothing's displayed. Um, so we can write maybe an else here. Echo. Not OK. So we're saying not OK. Now if this was to equal 2, that's fine. If it was to equal 4, that's fine. If it was to equal say 6, that's not fine because it doesn't equal the uh, things we've specified. Now what we can do is we can change this whole thing around and I can say not, oh, sorry I can say not, we use this um, exclamation mark to say not, so if this is not true or this isn't true then it's okay. So at the moment this isn't true or this isn't true so it is okay. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so it's two. So if not, if the number doesn't equal, then uh, it's not true. So refresh, and uh, oh, maybe we need to. <laughs> okay. So yeah, obviously these need to be in brackets because what we're doing is we're evaluating the statement as a whole. Um, this is a whole here, and this is a whole just here. So let's refresh, and at the moment it's okay. So it doesn't equal the number doesn't equal two. Um, it does equal two, so it's okay. Um, if we were to do four and refresh, that's okay as well. But if it's anything else other than two and four, we've, because we've introduced this not, we're saying, um, hmm. Oh, and at this point, we need to make sure this is and. So. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm confused in my own logic. What we're doing is we're saying, um, okay if the number is not two and if it's not four. So take a look at this code and try and sort of understand it, but the logic of it, especially if you speak it in sort of an English, English or you say it to yourself, um, you'll understand it a lot better. But that is basically logical operators.